What up my beautiful YouTubers? In today's episode we're going over the Eagle Cluster Bomb. Unlocked at level 3 for 4,000 requisition. You get 4 uses out of it and a 15 second cooldown time. But is it worth it finding the trimming ads? We'll find out after the intro. All right, tubers, sorry I've been AFK. I've been dominating in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, the Rebirth Island that they just re released, and I've just been having too much fun playing with my boys. But nonetheless, I am back and here with a dope ass guide for the Cluster Bomb. Uh, Pro, all right, straight off the rip, this thing has a crazy splash damage, has a crazy danger zone, all right? It has a 5 to 20 meter damage danger zone where you will die in, has a 15 to 21 meter splash damage zone that you will take a little bit of damage in. Uh, the sweet spot's going to be around 22 to 25 meters. You don't want to be in or out of the that meter zone to take no damage at all. Pro tip, if you are in that uh, danger zone, if you want to dive and go prone to avoid any splash damage, Definitely do that, uh, but it's just your typical stratagem, guys. I don't know why people were hyping it up so much. Uh, I think it's mid-tier out of all the stratagems, uh, especially against your lower uh, armored bugs or automatons or just in general. Uh, yeah, it does good against other stuff, but I just think just the blast damage is too gnarly, especially if you're going to be going in with other teammates. For solos, it's totally cool because you're going solo and have to do nothing about it. But when you're fighting other anim uh, other enemies, especially like a charger, you're going to have a hard time. I had a uh, difficult time fighting these two chargers, uh, mainly because I couldn't control the splash damage or where exactly the cluster was going to go. Uh, I believe, after all my experience with this cluster bomb, that it goes in a strafing position. It goes from left to right. Uh, never had it come towards me um, as long as you're looking in the direction you throw your uh, stratagem in um, but still these guys are so agile it takes a takes you a good amount of time to get used to your timing in order to hit these guys um, honestly I was struggling here and I dropped the stratagem straight at the right time and was able to get away and um, take these guys out with a little dive action right there. You saw a dive. I take a little. I take less damage uh, when you're in that damage zone. So please be careful. Fighting the Bow Titans is another thing. I recommend when you're gonna fight the Bow Titans to bring in the. Um, the EMS stratagem. It's kind of like a stun. It stuns the Bow Titan. A little bit more and it kind of puts them in place for you to hit a more direct hit with your cluster bomb right there i was able to throw the ems strike down and then right after that immediately after that throw the cluster bomb down and able to get a direct hit and take out your battle titan that's going to be your best option for fighting battle titans with the cluster bomb i promise you're going to struggle so much taking buildings out I don't know why people said this shit takes buildings out, but for me, it didn't do a goddamn thing. And uh, you're going to struggle. Okay, I struggled. I spent about a good five minutes trying to blow up this one building, and I couldn't do it. Same thing with Bugs Nest. You're going to struggle as well. I tried to go left, right, above, below, right in the middle, and I just couldn't blow up Bugs Nest. So you're going to struggle with that. Uh, but it's going to be a short video. I hope you have a great day, a great month, and a great year. My name's Sincere, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.